Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. I am Vidyashree. In this video, I will be discussing another important topic from verbal reasoning test which is important for all type of competitive examination that is the direction sense test. Without wasting time, let's directly start the video. There are four main directions. East, West, North and South. So these directions can be represented by this particular diagram. On the right hand side we write East, left side West, top side North, bottom South. Along with these four main directions, we have four cardinal directions. They are northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest. The four cardinal directions as well as the four main directions can be represented in a single diagram like this. Where this NE means northeast, you know E stands for east. Between east and south, we have southeast, then we have south. Between south and west, we have southwest direction, then we have is west. Between north and west, we have northwest. So these are the eight directions that you should know before answering any questions related to direction sense test. So on the right hand side east, left side it is west, on the top you have north, bottom you have south. Between north and east you have northeast, between south and east you have southeast, between west and south you have southwest and between north and west you have northwest. So this is what you need to remember. Please note a few points before answering the questions related to direction test. So the first point you should note is that at the time of sunrise, shadow of an object is always in the west. So this point is important because the sun rises from east. Therefore, shadow of an object during sunrise will obviously fall towards west side. Whatever might be the direction of object, if the object is facing towards north, shadow will be casted on west. If the object is placing towards south, then also shadow falls on west. So at the sunrise, shadow falls towards west side. At the time of sunset, shadow of an object is always in the east. Consider the third point. If a man stands facing north at the time of sunrise, his shadow will be towards his left side. At the time of sunset, his shadow will be towards his right. Okay. So, I will consider the directions here. According to point 3, now during sunrise, okay, now this person is facing towards north side. So, he is facing towards north side. During sunrise, his shadow will fall towards west side, right. So, now this west side is the left side of the person who is facing towards north side. Sun sets on the west side. Obviously, shadow falls on east side. Now, for a person who is facing towards north side, shadow will fall towards his right side. So, that is what is told in point number 3. Now, considering point 4, at 12 pm, the rays of sun are vertically downwards. So, at 12 p.m. sun rays are falling directly downwards. Hence, there will be no shadow. So, you should remember these four points. Consider a few questions. First one. Raman travels a distance of 5 km in the south direction. He turns to his right. After walking 3 km, he turns to the left and walks 5 km. Now, in which direction is he from the starting place? Option A, West. Option B, South. Option C, Southwest. Option D, Northeast. I have indicated eight different directions here in this diagram. Now, let us solve this question. I consider 
this particular point as starting point of Raman. So now he is traveling a distance of 5 km in the south direction. So if this is the starting point, south is coming downwards. Okay. So towards the south, he is traveling 5 km. So now he is facing towards the south itself. So this is his left side. This is right side. You can visualize yourself in that particular situation and you can easily identify which is the right side and which is left side. So after walking 5 kilometers, he turns to his right side. Raman is turning towards his right side. Okay, after walking 3 kilometers, he turns to the left. At this point, you just identify which is right side and which is left side. Okay, now he is moving towards west side. Okay. So this side is left and this side is his right side. Now he turns to left and walks 5 kilometers. So towards his left he is walking 5 kilometers. Now in which direction is he from the starting place? So this is the end point of Raman now. This is the starting point. Now the question is to identify in which direction is Raman from his starting place. So from start to end if I join a line, if I draw a line like this, correct? So this is the starting point, okay? This is the starting point and the direction is like this now. So what is the direction? It is southwest. If you just look, it seems like south direction but look carefully we have eight different directions right and in the option also they have given four cardinal directions so this direction from the starting point to his end point is southwest direction consider second question prakash walked 30 meter towards west took a left turn and walked 20 meters he again took a left turn and walked 30 meters then he took right turn and stopped he is now facing option A south, option B north, option C east, option D west. So in this question they have considered only four main directions. So let us draw the diagram with respect to four main directions. Here you go. Now let us consider this is starting point. So from this starting point Prakash walks 30 meters towards west okay west means this direction 30 meter he has walked he took a left turn so now he is facing towards west side this is his left and right after taking left turn he walks 20 meter Then again he took a left turn and walked 30 meters. At this point, this is left, this is right. So he is taking left turn and he walks 30 meters. At this point, this is his right, this is left side. Now he takes right turn and he stops. So this is the end point now. What direction he is facing now? So this is starting point. This is the end. So starting point is exactly in the same direction as that of end point. Okay. This is starting. This is end. So which is the direction. So he is facing towards south. Third question. Chintan walked 15 kilometers towards west and then he turned left and walked for 20 kilometers then he moved towards east and walked 25 kilometers and finally turning left he covered 20 kilometers how far was he from his starting point option a 20 kilometers option b 30 kilometers option c 10 kilometers option d none of the above so now in this question instead of asking which direction he is facing they have asked what is the distance covered by chintan let us see how we can solve this particular question. 
So we shall draw the diagram according to the directions they have indicated. Consider this point here as the starting point. Now they are telling that Chintan is walking 15 kilometers towards west. So towards west, he is walking 15 kilometers. Then he turned left and walked for 20 minutes. So turns towards left and he walks for 20 kilometers. Then he moved towards east. So from this point he is moving towards east. He walks 25 kilometers. So already I have indicated 15. Now it's 25. Little extra I have to draw. Okay. So this is 25 kilometers. So if you draw the diagrams properly, you will get a clear understanding. Okay. Then finally turning towards left. So at this point, he is turning towards his left. This is left side. This is right side. He is turning towards left and he covers 20 kilometers. So it means he is covering 20 kilometers. So already I have indicated 20 kilometers this height. Now it should be same. Okay, so 20 kilometers. Now at this point, he stops. Okay, so this is the end. Now the question is, how far he is from his starting point? You see, from this end point, you have this space till the starting point. If you join this, you will get a rectangle, right? You know, opposite sides of rectangles are equal. Here you have 20 kilometers and 20 kilometers both are same so similarly these distances is also same if i indicate this rectangle as a b c d then according to the properties of rectangle we have a b is equal to c d and a d is equal to b c as you know a d and b c are 20 kilometers they are equal now this a b and c d are equal but you don't know what this distance is. Okay, I'll consider this starting point as O. Okay. So AB and CD should be equal. That AB should be equal to CD means it should be 25 kilometers. Now, this AB is nothing but it is the sum of OA and OB. So from this I can write AB means it is 25 that is equal to OA is this distance that you know it is 15 kilometers plus we don't know what OB is we need to find what this OB is so therefore I can write OB is equal to 25 minus 15 that is equal to 10 kilometers so therefore right answer here is option C 10 kilometers so this is how you can solve this particular question I will come up with another video considering examples similar to this question that they will be giving the distance travelled by a person from one point to the other point and they will ask you to find the minimum distance from the starting point to the end point. Question number 4. Vijay starts walking towards north. After walking some distance, he turns to his right. Then walking for a while, he turns to his left and walks for 1 kilometer. And then he turns to his left again. In which direction is he moving now? Option A, north. Option B, south. Option C, west. Option D, east. Let's consider the four different directions. Now, accordingly, let us solve the question. So, I'll consider the starting point. He starts walking towards north. Okay, so towards north, he is started walking. After walking some distance, he turns his right side. Okay, means towards right side he is turning. Okay, this is how he turns to right side. Then walking for a while, he turns to his left side. Okay, this is left side. And walks for 1 kilometer. So, 1 kilometer he walks in this direction. Then he is turning towards his left again. Okay, this is left side. He turns. So this is the direction he is starting from this point and he is moving towards north after walking some distance he turns towards right and moves like this then he walks and turns left and walks for one kilometer then again he turns left and he is walking now the question is in which direction is Vijay moving now if you consider with respect to starting point he is moving along this line 
So this is the starting point and Vijay is moving along this direction. So with respect to starting point, he is moving like this. Okay, means this is the starting point. He is moving towards west side. Therefore, the right answer here is option C, west. Question number five. Atul walks 20 meter towards south. Turning to the left, he walks 30 meter. Then turning right, he walks 10 meter. And then turning right, he walks 40 meter. Then turning right, he walks 30 meter and stopped. In which direction is he standing with respect to his starting point? Option A, east. Option B, west. Option C, north. Option D, south. Solve this question and let me know your answers in the comment section. I hope you will find this video helpful. If so, please do like and share this video among your friends and family. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos. I'll meet you in my next video with another topic. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. Keep learning. Take care. Bye-bye.